hey guys welcome back hope you guys are doing well welcome to everyone who's um new to the channel um if you have any questions or comments please list it below i i love hearing from you guys i love learning from you guys and um, i'm having a ball just interacting with so many different people anyway <clears throat> Thanks again. I mean, you guys are the most important part of this channel. Um, I'm coming to you with with a card that I don't know where it's gonna go. Um, I just took stuff out, and it's because when you're trying to create content, sometimes you can get really in your head and you overcomplicate things, or you mess up. I messed up on a really long video this morning um, by clicking a button and not recording the last part of it which was the most important um so i'm gonna redo that video another day because it was exhausting but i just want to have fun and i want to have fun with the stuff that i like to do which is i like to play with inks and um i like to add colors that shouldn't go together and i like to um kind of think outside the box when it comes to specific colors that you wouldn't necessarily use for holidays um but i think we'll look good anyway <laughs> so we're just gonna try it and if it doesn't look good then we can just you know either salvage it somehow and and put it in my nice huge donate pile because you create a lot of cards making a channel let me tell you or um it could come out fabulous and then i could donate it anyway because i don't know what i'm gonna do with it <laughs> anyway i'm going to use this definitely i don't know about this i know i'm going to use this paper because i want to use my um tim holtz inks and i don't know what else we're going to add to it yet <laughs> so that's where we at this is the mindset right now um it is going to be a christmas card because i wasn't able to I wanted to do a couple of cards a week and I really wasn't able to do that um, with all the stuff that was going on and me getting sick. So I just wanted to make one more. <laughs> Actually, you know, that's a lie. I'm going to make a lot more, but let's just say it's one more. Anyway, so I'm going to cut this out and then we'll get all the inks that we need to start making it look good. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be right back okay so i got that cut and i brought out a bunch of inks that should never be fused together well maybe a couple of them but what i'm thinking is making this a building that's super old and um that's been painted a thousand times and um should never be on a card <laughs> We shall see how this works out. If it doesn't work out, <laughs> one or two things will happen. I'll scrap the video and start over. You'll never know about it. Or I'll continue with it and see what happens. <laughs> just go with it. So we're just going to add color and just keep adding color until something comes out right. It's taking a leap of faith. Okay. So we have our card cut out. And this is what we have. Oh, this one didn't cut out all the way, but I think I can get it out. So I think we're good. And now our windows will open um another thing you have to consider is do you want to go over um this white part um i may not want to so i'm going to see if i can just cut a piece of paper that's about the same size and cover it just so i don't have any oopsies lord knows that i'm famous for those Okay. 
and if you want if you want to keep this trim also white you can just add like both the notes do a couple of do's is it white enough yes let's see let me see how we're going to cut out the top part and i'll be right back okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to start off with my yellow and i'm going to put colors here and there and just we're just going to build it up little by little it's not gonna make any kind of sense right now okay And now we're going to start going into our dark ones. I'm going to use a little bit of the peel paint. So, so far I did the um, uh, fossilized amber, the twisted citron. Now we're moving to the peel paint, which is a little bit darker. Just a little. And I'm going to tie that in just here and there. And it's just to start making the building look a little bit older. Now we're going to go totally <laughs> out of there. And I'm going to use abandoned coral. And I'm just going to add that color here and there also. And then there's going to be places that I go a little bit darker than others. Sorry if I was a little out of it, out of the screen. I want those colors to touch each other. So it's like somebody came and like put some color on top of somewhere else and maybe just add a little bit that there. It looks a hot mess. <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of the vintage photo and I'm going to darken those edges a little bit. And I'm going to go lightly over the other colors, but you can see that the color is still coming through a little bit. So I like that. There's going to be places that it's darker. There's going to be places that it's lighter. But I want those little bit of colors coming through so it doesn't all look just, you know, brown. And then lightly go over everything else. And then it starts looking like that. We could bring in the green again if we want. But it starts toning it down. I'm not concerned that this is really dark here because I still have to trim it. So that doesn't bother me. So let's do that. And then we are going to add a little bit more of the green, the peel paint. And that's because it's a, a darker green. There we go. 
Let me add some more here. I think that's good for now. And then if we take this off, our trim is still white. And we could come and soften that up with a different color. So let me find a color that we can soften up the white with because it's just a little bit too harsh. And then we'll decide what, the, what our next step is going to be. So I'll be right back. I wish I had a different color, but I'm going to just use the tattered rose. And it's because it's just a really soft color. Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit just to take away a little bit of that white color. Just soften it up just a little bit. And remember, when you touch the other inks, you kind of activate them a little bit so you can bring in some of those tones and stuff just to add a little bit of color here. And we're going to just add a little bit more. And I'm going all over it because I don't care if it mixes together. So it softened it up a little. You, you can't see it on the camera because it's so darn bright. But it's softer than before. That was the color originally. And now, oh look. So it's just a little bit softer. And again, you can keep coming back with the colors if you want. The more you mix them together, the more it's going to move. And then you end up with something like that. Okay. Not perfect. But I wasn't going for perfect. Let's give it a that. Now, we can trim this down just a tad. And I'm going to trim it down mainly because of where the folder hit. It left it curled up a little bit, and I really don't like the way that looks. And it works to get rid of some of the really dark spots. So we're just going to trim it down. And just a tad on this side. So that's our base. What can we do with this? We can add some snow. We can add glitter to some of these spots and, and add some um, white... Um, glitter add glue and glitter and then you have the look of snow but we're not going to do any of that yet because i want to see what we're going to do with our background first before we change too much and of course i want to create a scene so do i want to have the little tree in there do i want to have the fireplace maybe a little bit of both I think a little bit of both. And then we can like decorate the fireplace to um, make it a little more busy. So we're going to cut out 
the fireplace. Or maybe we'll do the fireplace there and then stamp the tree in. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see how much I can get in the image. And maybe I could just layer things. I, I honestly think we could put them side by side and they'll show and look fine. And then we'll just stamp and cut out these guys separately. So maybe... Actually, we don't even need the bow because I can just put a different bow. But I most likely will do the stockings. So let's get the stockings out. And maybe the clock. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and clean my um, platform and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to stamp it. And we're going to use the Spectrum Noir ink, um, the alcohol proof ink. Let's stamp those out. I'm not concerned that it's not level with each other because honestly, we're going to, um, you're not going to see it. So it's all good. Now I am going to add the little clock and stamp that right there. Hopefully it's in the right place. Now we could just make a thicker line, it doesn't matter. Oh, that was perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp the little stocking separately so that I could go ahead and cut them out. There we go. We stamped it twice. Do we want to add anything else? Um, no, because I'm going to add a bow. So I'm going to just leave it like that. And if we need something else, then we'll come back and do that. So, let's just to the side. And then we're going to color. I'm going to get some colors out. And now um, we'll start coloring as soon as I get back. Okay, so we're going to start coloring our tree. And we're going to color it green. Now you could have used uh, um, the more realistic looking tree um, that Crafter's Companion provided. You could even um, use... Th there's a lot of um, cards that have um, like trees and stuff that you could pop out. Some toppers and whatnot. You can use whatever you want. I didn't want it to look realistic. I wanted it to look a little cutesy. Fun. Bright. It's just the mood I'm in today, I guess. Especially after messing up that other card. <laughs> Let's blend it out and go to the next one.
This is not going to look pretty to start with. Don't worry about it. As long as it works out in the end. Let's keep going. <clears throat> A light color first. Not in any pretty way. Just throwing it on there. And I may end up cutting these out and just creating a background for it. Maybe a textured one. Or maybe we find... um. A pattern crunch stock that looks good. We shall see. Okay, and then the last part down here. Okay, and then some down here. You could do this with color pencil. You can do this with um, watercolor pencils. Whatever medium you like, it's just adding color. And I know I repeat that stuff a lot, but it, it, it's important that if you find something that you don't like it shouldn't stop you from making a card you can just find a different medium that you most likely will love and honestly i hated alcohol markers when i started because i didn't know i didn't understand them um everything just looked weird and then slowly but surely it started getting better just add some yellow You can barely tell those colors, but it's fine. And now we're going to color some of these. And let's set this one. And then we'll just take a little bit of the darker tone and just put it on the bottom. Add a little bit of dimension. This one came out too dark. Okay. All right, let's put some blue. Hmm. And then we can add a little bit of the dark one. And let's come back in with the light one. I skipped the mid-tone on that one. Such a small 
piece, then it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's get another color. Not brown. Maybe some This is a perfect example of having a million colors and not knowing what color to use. <laughs> okay. That's something different. Oh, I like that one though. And I guess we can finish the rest off with yellow because I am running out of ideas. Okay. I'm not concerned about the bottom part. Let's start on the fireplace and we're going to get our dark red. How do you guys store everything? color a brick we can throw some brown in there too just to give it a little more let's get some brown or maybe to a dark shade of red that's kind of cool that looks more like brick Midtone. And let's see the light. And maybe we'll finish it off with the dark one of this one. Is it the same? You know what? We'll do the mid-tone. It has more of a rich color. Like brick. Okay, so since we're going to use this one as a light tone instead, let me just finish coloring these guys up. Okay, so it's all cut out and it is time for my favorite glossy accents this tree might be too small for this window but you know what i'm just gonna complete the card and we'll see how it turns out sometimes you think it won't look great and it does you can always add something that looks like a picture to the top and um Sometimes that just completes what look you're wanting. Okay, so we're going to let <clears throat> that dry. Now we're going to do the glass. And we're going to do, hmm. See, I really want this thing to pop. I want it to look shiny and stuff. 
So I'm just going to do the fire. And we're going to let that dry and see if we need to add anything else. Fire doesn't make sense, but yeah, I'm going to do that anyway. <laughs> Okay, let me look for paper to use as our background and then we can complete this card. I'll be right back. Oh, before we continue, I just received um, my small order from CC Designs. I think this is the ice skaters. Oh, yep, it is. Here they are, so cute, look. So I, I wanted this one because, um, let's see where, where that one is. Because I want them to do it with this. There's a little pond here. We can have them skating and make like a whole village in a, um, hmm, in a slimline card, I think will look best. But isn't it cute? I'm going to use these two together. Okay. Now I'm going to go get the rest of the pieces for the card. Okay, so I wanted something that looked like wallpaper, but it was more dark and um, old looking. And I think this one does the trick. So what I figured is that I'm going to flip it and then get that stuff look that looks like peel paint on the top. And then we could put our fireplace, <clears throat> excuse me, and all that other good stuff in there. Let's trim this down a little bit. Okay. And then we could decide on our background. I'm debating that still. So we just basically have to see what we're going to add where. That's just it. Like, um, and if we're going to elevate this a little bit. So we would put this something like that. And then we could sneak our little tree back here. So now we have, or we could even pop this up a little bit and have it like that. So now we have just, uh, we have a good background and we have some dimension. I'm going to pop this one up definitely. Um, but these two, I think I'm just going to glue on top of each other. I don't think you'll be able to really tell. So I'm going to carefully lift this one and glue it. Because I think it's still wet. And we could come back and check it. Yeah, I think that's good. If it's a little off, it's no big deal. And then we're going to add glue to this one and do the same. Okay, so now when we add our foam tape, we have a little image and yeah, we could fix that a little bit. So we have something like that. We could bring it down a little bit. I don't think so. I think right there it's going to be good. So we're going to bring some foam tape and do that. Sorry if I went off camera for a little bit. You never know with this thing. Okay. So now it's basically seeing exactly where you want it, which is why I'm looking at it. And then committing. <laughs> okay. Let's just do it. 
I think we're going to add one more stocking to the middle because we really can't see the other stockings. Let's trim this down. So, this is the image we have so far. Right? Cute. We can add another stocking right there so you can see it. And then um, we're going to put it on top of a background. Now, here's another thing. You have to decide what do you like best. Do you want a darker color? Do you want a totally different color that doesn't match at all? <laughs> do you want a similar color to what you used there? Or do you want something totally different altogether? I'm going to look in my book and I'm going to see. I know we have. Kind of yellow. Give me one second. Okay, who knew? I just got the stamp set and I'm already going to use it. I'm going to use the winter time wishes and I'm going to cut it out with that. And that's what we're going to place here. And then we could decide if we need to place anything else. I'm kind of speeding it up because we're close to an hour. Um, I think I overanalyzed it again. <laughs> but we'll get better. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so I am thinking something like this just to finish it off. So we're just going to start adding glue to all of this okay. let's see exactly where we want it Let me see. I think that's good. I can trim it if anything. It's not a big deal. And then we're going to add these little pieces. Just right there. And then we're going to add the other one to the other side. Someday I'll learn to edit well so <laughs> you guys don't have to sit through all of the painful stuff <laughs> all of my mistakes and then we'll put that one in the middle and then we just have to add our sentiment now mine came out a little bit crooked but i could add a gem i can add a little heart not a big deal you can pop it up if you want i don't So that would be our finished card. Of course, I'm, I'll put it on a, a card base. But it's cute. Um, acetate would have made it look uh, much better. You could have opened the windows better. Um, you can add all kinds of things to it. But I think it's cute. And that's what I did. So I used all kinds of ink to make um, our building um, just look like an old building. Um, it would have been more of a realistic card if you used um, one of the trees from Crafter's Companion because they look real. But I didn't want to color the realistic one. So this is what we have and this is my card. I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, please um, post in the comments below. It was a mishmash of everything. <laughs> so um, sometimes it's just fun to create that way. Anyway, before this hits an hour, I'm going to say goodbye and see you guys later. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.